Hi friends, welcome back. I am Wicked Crafty Mom. I was not supposed to push that button yet, but I did it anyway. Uh, so I'm going to pause it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back now. My mic is plugged in like it's supposed to be. I pushed the right button this time. Let's see. Excuse me while I move you. Sorry about that. I thought I had everything set up, but apparently, once again, I was wrong. Okay, so I am Wicked Crafty Mom, also April, and today we are working on, this is the prototype. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I got to start my timer. And this is... This one has tags in it and journaling cards. The one that we're working on will not because it is going to be for ephemera. I got a little print happy with my shabby dabby doo dah stuff and uh, now I need a new place to store it. Okay, so. These are the collages we made. I made them thinking that because I use them for tags and stuff, um, that's what I went with in my head when I was like, how much do I need? I was like, oh, I used two sheets last time. Well, yes, I did, but that's because I made tags out of them. So I don't need two sheets this time. Okay, so here's what we've got kind of so far. Okay, we've got this was made from an envelope. Da, da, da. They're all made from envelopes, this whole thing. Okay. And so now I've, I've just folded it over together. I'm going to glue these things together um, when, when everything's done. I made some flaps because the envelopes did not have flaps. Some of them didn't. So, so I made some, okay, and so these are going to, I mean, they're great for holding in. I just want to make sure that the creases are good because you're going to want to stick them all together. And if you can make that less bulky, then that's handy. Okay. So, here's this. There's a couple more here. Do, 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 do. This one's got a very small flap. This one has the original flap, which I like. So, we're going to go through and we're going to glue each of these down. And then I'm going to take something, maybe this, maybe blue paper, and I'm going to cover it up. We're going to glue it. So, that's going to be our next step. Okay, so I'm going to take, I am going to take this because I don't need it to stay glued together forever. I'm going to sew it together when I bind it. So right now I just need it to stay glued together long enough for me to get it to the next stage, which is binding it. Okay, so you line up the edges, and again, I learned this from watching Scrapbooking With Me here on YouTube, so hers is a lot more <laughs> streamlined than mine is, and a um, little bit of a smoother presentation. But I also really dig mine. Because I got creative. Because I ended up having envelopes with no um, flappy. And who really likes flapless envelopes? No, I actually do, in some cases, like flapless envelopes. <laughs> they serve their purpose. All right. I'm just lining them up 
as far or as close together as I can. And this envelope. And I'm just doing that by folding it over after I push it all the way in. Okay. Maybe I didn't need to explain that, but I explained it anyway, so there. Okay. Okay. I'm just folding it backwards. It'll be fine. There we go. I had just glued it on the wrong side for the way it was folded if I was going to keep it folded that way. Mm -hmm. Why are you full? Oh, okay. That's why. That's why. Okay. One more. Do 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 do. Okay, so now that part is complete. And because, oops, it didn't get all together the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. I'm gonna, gonna make it work anyway. Okay, whoops. <sighs> all right. So we got these spare pieces of paper now, right? We got this, and we got this. So let's glue them together. Actually, what I'm going to do first is cut this to the size that I want it. Um, which is, ooh, look at me making a mess here. I'll have to fix that with glue, but this is, this is biggish. All right, there. I'm gonna cut here. And I'm gonna cut here because that's roughly the size that I want it to be. And then got my paper here, my glue. Cords in my way also, so I apologize. I'm just gonna run a line of glue on the outside, whoops, on the outside edge and then down the middle and I'm doing it real rough like because I don't care because I'm gonna sew it in a second so I'm gonna trim it up make it look a little bit um, nicer get it smushed down where's my smusher where's my smusher Here's my shirt. There it is. Okay. All right, so I got just enough sticky left on this. That this is gonna work, I think. Maybe, possibly, not really. I should have measured it first, but I should have measured it probably at all. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna go down and up. I just need enough to make it tacky. To make it stay so I can trim it the way I need to on both sides and then sew it. Now, you problem child over here, I'm going to grab my Elmer's glue all. Wanna know? Like a superhero. And I'm going to glue this. And then, because this is popped up, 
I'm going to glue this. And then, because this is also popped up down the side here, I'm just smearing glue where I'm, this is, this is how I'm fixing problems. Glue. Okay. It's not super stuck, but it's stuck-ish and I'm just going to, we're going to go with it. Sometimes you just need to embrace the ish, right? Because <laughs> ah, it's stuck-ish. All right, embrace the ish. That might be, that might be my catchphrase. Friends, my super villain catchphrase. Embrace the ish. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, because I am choosing to, sew around the edge. You do not need to sew around the edge. Um, I am going to put my card here. So when I move my card, if I can remember to do this, because I don't usually, when I'm done sewing and making the noise, I'm going to move this card. And that's going to tell you that you can unmute it if you don't like the noise of sewing machines. It's a signal. We got a signal between us. Okay. So I'm just sewing around the edge. You can glue it better. You can glue it with different glue. Or, um, I mean, however you would stick it, you can tape it, you can glue it. I really like sewing. Now that I've got my machine going and I figured out how to problem solve it and troubleshoot it, like it just tickles me to be able to use it all the time. So I do. So now I'm going to attach, oops, I cut my strings too short. That's what my oops was, because they're going to get sucked into the machine and then I'll never see them again. Okay, I'm going to round my corners because I like rounding my corners. Embrace the ish. I like that. I hope it's not somebody else's already. Okay, so now we've got this, this cover. And I know it's big for what we've got, but, and I, I see that it's falling apart here. So what I'm gonna do, hmm, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna do this? I think what I'm gonna do is, how do I fix this, friends? Let's sew this on here. Let's glue and sew this on here. Because I think it will help hold this down. Okay, that's what we're going to do with it. Fix that. Where did my scissors go? Let me use scissors. I didn't put them away. That would be... Very unlike me. Where are my scissors? Hmm. This is odd. They're probably right in front of me. Like they were the other day. Like when they were right next to my arm. And I'm going, where are my scissors? Can't find them. And they were like right here. That's probably what's happening. I 
I can't find any of my scissors, which is ridiculous because I have like four pair. Crazy. This is crazy, friends. I found one. But I had to go all the way across the room without... Where are my scissors? Black hole. They're in the black hole. Must reclean my desk. Oh, I bet you they're under here. I bet you, I bet you. Maybe not. Don't know. Lost them. You can probably see them from your eagle eye position here. It's really frustrating, though. Okay, I gotta clean my desk again. I know. I know. It's a mess. All right. This is what I was looking for the scissors for. Oh, I remember, because you know why I didn't have scissors? I brought my scissors in to the other room. Because I was sitting and doing some prep work for some stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to goop this up. Like, give it some real good gluing here. We'll see. We'll see. And Phoebe is in here. She's over in her little spot over there. So if you hear, like, that's just her nails on the plastic. Her little feetsies. Okay. As she adjusts her position. And sometimes she will dig. Just because, I guess. Because it's fun for her. Okay. Now... Now we put the cover on our glue. Da, 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 da. Or we don't. All right. 43 minutes left. I really like having this timer here. All right. So I am going to sew again. So unmute. Or mute. That's what I meant. Do 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 turn. One more. Do do. I have done this project in this. Um, this project in pieces over the last few days. So that's been a little um, tricky because I, I like to kind of keep, keep my flow going. All right, look, I'm not, you can unmute it. All right, so there's that. This might need a good coat of Mod Podge um, before everything is said and done, but I don't, I'm not too worried about doing that before um, binding because I can do it after or before. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, so this is going to go this way. Now, I, hmm, hmm, I'm thinking, sorry. Um, I am going to do my three hole punch thing, my just pamphlet stitch, three hole pamphlet stitch. If I can get my string, I wasn't sure. So what I was debating was, did I want to sew it or not? And I don't particularly right now feel like sewing it. So I'm not gonna. One. And two and three. Do 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 do. Wapa. All right. So based on my playing around, I suspect that you need three lengths from wherever your holes are going to be, um, from the top hole to the bottom hole three times. I suspect that's what you need, but I, I was told three lengths of your project, and I'm too chicken 
to try it the other way um, with just the length of my holes because like maybe because I'm because th then I'm breaking the rules I was told the rules I was told was oops the rules I was told was three times the piece all right one and two make sure you keep your fingers clear my fingers were way clear of where I was putting the hole and they haven't moved so okay right, I got my three holes whoops that one was way big didn't need to do it that big but it's fine everything's fine okay in and then out and then in this way and then all the way down and then pull it tight get that out of the way and then back in on the other side of the rope rope the string the other side of the string here there we go so I've got my whoops I got my whoops. How about you? Do you have your whoops? Okay. Then you've got your... It's split. Do, do, do. Do. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just tying knots now at this point. Just make a knot. Okay. I didn't need all that, but it is good. So what I'm going to do now, this side here is ugly. It's ugly. So I am going to use this. This is my other blue paper that I grabbed. Look, it's a sky. doesn't need to be wicked big so it doesn't need to be all the way across here but it can be whatever size you really want um, so I'm gonna make it it's gonna be half of this which will make sense in just a second okay now I am going to do just just cut a piece all right so I made it so that it would cover up my flaps here and no matter what um, no matter what length as long as it was inside the book it would have would have worked it's my smusher okay so now <laughs> glue it up good use whatever kind of glue you want it is possible that at some point in the future i will sew across it um just for fun But it's also possible that I will forget to do that. So, you know, either way. <laughs> okay. Smushing it. It is also possible that I will sew it right now because it's not behaving. Oh, you know why? I pulled it. So you got to not do it too close. Forgot about that. All right. So what I'm going to do, we're going to watch me fix mistakes is what's going to happen now. Right? Is this your favorite part of the event? It could be. Let's see what kind of a pickle she's gotten herself into this week, folks. And can she get herself out? Okay. Come here, you. Little booger. Get over here. Right here. Yep. 
There you go. Okay, so we are going to, I'm just gonna hold this. <laughs> Guys, this is such a mess, this video. <sighs> anyway, I'm using my Elmer's glue wall. You ever get to a point in a project where you're just so like frustrated that you just want to step back and burn it? Um, yeah, me neither. All right, I'm gonna try to get this down and then I'm gonna figure out how to make it stay better because I'm really frustrated with it now. And I will make it bend to my will. I mean, pretty much we're just in a battle of wills at this point. <laughs> Me in this book. Okay. Oh, guys, look though. It worked. I win. Okay. Now I grabbed my blue papers Here we go, folding it right. I grabbed my blue papers for the book, but I this is what I had like right at the top of my little cup, so that's why I'm not worried about that being being orange. All right. So if you've got little sneakies, just just glue them. Okay. So now we have this book, right? And in the other one, it would be time to put, um, oh, that did not glue well. Um, in the other one, it would be time to put tags, but since we're not doing tags, now it's time to put, the pockets pockets remember because we're making this into an ephemera holder okay so here's a pocket I could because I like to because I enjoy it I got 30 minutes left here get this decorated up and it'll look so cute so what this piece here is good for is journaling or notes you can add something on top of it this is a slicker paper I don't know what I'm gonna do with it if anything now I'm also noticing that this feels a little loose um, you can actually Kind of tie, pull these tight on the outside and tie them and tighten them up. Um, so, okay, back to what I was doing. I was doing this and inking. That was the other thing I was doing. Okay. So one of the nice things that I like about junk journaling is like you could see here I totally jacked this up this this was peeling apart I fixed it it was peeling at the binding I covered it up with lots of glue and with um, another piece of paper like there are ways to fix just about anything that's my point that's what I like about it if I didn't like this paper after I put it down, I could have glued another one on top of it. Or I could have decoupaged it. Or, uh, I don't know, whatever. So, it's versatile. I'm trying to pick the um, glue off the tip of my glue because I would like to glue. That's our drinking word today, folks. Glue. All right, um, 
Evidently, I'm just going to have issues now. Okay. 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 I just wanted to get a nice amount of glue coming out of the tip and it was clogged. Anywho, versatility. Oh, look at that nice, lovely line of glue. Yes, it's crooked. That's okay. It's a pocket. It's a pocket for a thing that I'm keeping, so I'm not even worried about it. Do do. Dun dun dun. And I can make another pocket. Watch me. Watch me make another pocket, friends. Okay. Now, I could have left this, but I'm just going to not leave jaggedy ends. Not on this one. I can, it doesn't matter, but I didn't want to this time. Now for me, doing the inking on it is like giving it a manicure. It's like a final detail that kind of pulls everything together. I'm saying that because I've been thinking a lot about my manicures and doing my nails. And I like the way my nails being done makes it feel like it doesn't matter if I'm in my pajamas and look like junk. Like, something, something's looking alright. You know? So, that's what inking is for me. Okay, so what I was thinking while I was thinking about this whole, this, everything, is that if I were to, if I were to make a journaling card type dealio, even though this isn't a traditional journal, that I could put pockets on them and slide the things in and out. I don't know that I'm going to do that, but if I make a tag, I could put pockets on the tag and then just kind of stick them. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So, there's that thought. Okay. So now, let's do this one here. So I got to think about that whole tags with pockets thing. Um, cause it was one of those, hey, I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> Let me give you something to think about situations. So, I'm just using book page because I can, because it's here, because it's what I grabbed. Anything from my scrap pile is totally fine for making pockets. I like pockets that show up against the background though. So that, that's a thing. Um, okay. Do 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 do. What an uh. One of my favorite things about being a mom is making references that my kids don't understand. <laughs> And that's most of the references that I make. Just, they look at me and they stare at me in disgruntled youth for making references to things from the before times, before their times. That's, that's my favorite. Also, my kids are I'm just so lucky to have them because they just know everything <laughs> no I am lucky to have my kids they think they know everything and they love to act like they know everything um, and you know I don't know what I would do if I didn't have them here to tell me how to do all the things Uh, 
Uh, but they eat, my boys eat. My husband was telling me that um, I had made too much rice for dinner. And rice is a trip, like trip, tricky topic in my house because I may have gone just a teeny smidgen bit um, rice wild. So here's the thing. When I went, when all this, when I started hearing that this coronavirus was traveling really fast in China, I started thinking like, this is not, this is not a good thing. So we, you know, I did a little looking around. We got some stuff stocked away. And one of the things was some, some, you know, not a lot of stuff, just, you know, stuff that would get us a couple days of food if we, you know, were sick or whatever. So, got some stuff. Started a garden. That was fun. Um, so, I bought a 20-pound bag of rice is basically the... <laughs> at Walmart. And it was like 15 bucks, and I was so proud of myself because I just bought 20 pounds of rice for $15. And guess what? That bag was huge. <laughs> And so we had this big, giant bag of rice on the counter for, like, months. I was dipping into it at least once a week. But when I first got the rice, and because I got a rice cooker, and so I was very excited about the rice cooker and the rice. And I was like, and I know rice is not that difficult, but, like, I also know that I burn shit, stuff on the stove. So, like, I just didn't want to deal with that. So I was like, oh, rice cooker. Like, I burn stuff. Rice cooker will put cook the rice perfectly and I don't have to worry about it, right? Right? Win-win. So I got a rice cooker. Maybe rice cooker's the drinking game or rice. I bet you rice is the drinking game this episode. Anyhow. So, so my family got a little bit sick of having rice for dinner and now they taunt me about rice. But I still make it, but I don't make it as often as I was. But let me tell I was like, look, I'm going to make cilantro lime rice, which I did. For with tacos, like instead of using the seasoned pre seasoned taco rice, like I'll buy some, you know, cilantro and I'll buy some lime, and you know, we can have a nice rice with very few ingredients. Like, why? Although we do very much enjoy the flavored rices, but I know they're bad. Bad. Well, I guess not too much, but anything that you don't make homemade is going to be, you know, that's not necessarily true because I can make junk at home. Um, so anybody that says like fast food is not as healthy as eating at home, let's talk about how a lot of people cook, <laughs> including myself. Okay. Now I have, oops. I have this coming apart, so I'm going to fix it again. Fix this one. This one, I was a little uh, nervous that it wasn't going to hold because this envelope was super slick. So, um, I kind of expected this one to maybe have some issues. Anyway. I'm trying to do better about not cooking junk food. <laughs> However, it still happens. Um, I am going to... Put, nope, I'm not. I'm going to put more pockets here because I like these pockets. And this is just scrap paper that I had after cutting out some fussy cutting. So I'm just going to use this as pockets. I have labeled properly Miss Barbara's German French text cards in my supplies so I know where they came from they came from 49 dragonflies and they're super cute and I love them anyway back to the rice so now every time I say that we're gonna have rice my kids like roll their eyes and act like I'm trying to poison them it's very dramatic here sometimes Oh yeah, ink. 
ink because I like to ink. I don't need to ink this. It's not for presentation as much as, again, it's just like getting my nails did. Makes it feel pulled together. So once I am done with the pockets on this, though, that means we're going to be done. If I do end up adding journaling cards with pockets on them and that works, <laughs> and I'll show you probably in another um, video about something else. Like, I don't think I'm going to make another ser like video in this series just to say, hey, guess what? Like, I'll make a whole, a whole thing about it on its own. I don't know why I'm nervous on today's video. It feels, I don't know. I, it just feels disjointed, I think, because I've been working on this for like four days and it's not a project that should take four days, but because I'm filming every part of it and I can't always film that like I've had to spread it out. I don't like spreading it out. I don't like it. Let's see. I'm going to do a tuck like this. I'm going to trim it down just a touch and then I'm going to do a tuck this way in case we have anything. Um, that needs to be, that can be sideways like this. Because I really like sideways tucks. I like sideways tucks and upside down tucks because they are different than normal things. They buck convention. Sorry, I almost said a naughty word. I say lots of naughty words, but I'm usually like way better at not saying them on the videos. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And da 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 da, -da. Let's see. Oh, these are good pockets. This is a great pocket. And what I like about it is it's going to show up against the um, text, the book page, is the word I was looking for, book page, okay, all right, I am going to put this down here for kind of bigger things. Do, do. Oh, I didn't ink it. I didn't ink it. <sighs> you must have told me that I wasn't inking it. That's why it like. Mm -hmm. That's how I remember. Across space and time, you saved my project. We're still under quarantine, which means we can't take walks. And I told you that they extended it, so. Uh, I mean, eventually they're gonna, we're gonna run out of days where we've been around people and we get to like interact with them again, but I'm just. <sighs> eh. Like, I don't want to keep needing to get quarantined because there are cases at school because, so this is, mm -hmm. I don't understand this. This at all, I don't understand this part at all. So for real, when I called and said, for the first quarantine and said, listen, youngest child is going to be out of school with his brothers because one of his brothers was exposed close contact to somebody with coronavirus and she said well I'm not trying to stop you but like you understand that you could still send him to school right and I was like yes but that's why we're under quarantine <laughs> I said if people stay home and it can't spread then it can't spread you can't quarantine one member of the family 
and not expect that by the time. So what happens is my kid gets exposed, right, on, say, Tuesday. It wasn't necessarily a Tuesday, but every day feels like Tuesday. Anyway, so my kid gets exposed on a Tuesday, right? So then on, the, like, the following Wednesday, we get a phone call saying, this kid has been exposed because, you know, somebody in their class tested positive. Well, my kid has been there from Tuesday to the following Wednesday with us, probably giving it to us. If, if it's getting passed, like it's already probably been passed. So what is the point then of sending my other children to school if one of them's quarantined? It makes no sense to me. I understand I can still send them, but why? That's how this is still going okay that's my confusion like I know everybody wants things to be back to normal I want things to be back to normal I would love to be able to go for a walk today can't do it because we're under quarantine right and so it would be like rude of us to go walk around town possibly carrying coronavirus so we're not going to do it. <laughs> and I know people have to work and I know the kids need school and stuff, but I just think some things <sighs> some things are you know, other things are important. I also understand that not every child is safer at home than they are at school. So there's a lot of things that like the administration needs to think of and I'm trying really hard to remember all that stuff because um, cause I know that's something that should be thought about whether it's be if whether that's being taken into consideration or not it should be so I will take it into consideration and understand that um, not everybody has the opportunity to work from home not everybody has you know, somebody that can watch their kids, you know, there's a lot of single parents, and, and I understand that. I wish there was something available that would help people to be able to safely continue to function. You know, job safety, like... security measures I don't know I don't know how to fix it I just wish it could be fixed <laughs> I would like somebody else to do the thinking please oh I got 12 minutes left okay we're just about done though it's gonna be nice to have these pockets okay so do I want to I think I do okay so I'm gonna just cut this here make a little no, you know what I'm gonna cut it down a little bit do 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 okay anyhow yes I wish there were better options available so that people could stay home as needed and not uh, feel obligated to go to school or send their kids to school or go to work or whatever And the thing is that it's not a problem that somebody created. It's just how, how the system is right now and how everything is right now. And I get that, but man, it bothers me that there are people that are knowingly having positive case test results and, they're, and they know it and they go out in public. Like that bothers me. You know, if you find out you may have been exposed and you're still going out all the time, like, then you're, I don't know, it just frustrates me because I have seen my dad outside for like 20 minutes in this whole summer 
because we're trying to do the right thing. And then there are people that like get positive case test results and just go and infect people. Oops, I forgot to ink these. I got all wound up on my soap box, friend, and forgot to ink this one. Okay. Anywho, I'll be quiet about people. Maybe. Maybe I'll be quiet about people. People make me cranky sometimes. And, you know, I'm not even going to pretend. Like, I have anxiety. I have PTSD. I have all the things that people say that they have, and I know everybody's is different, and I get that. But I feel claustrophobic. I feel ill in the masks. I feel, you know, anxious, and I have panic attacks, and I still wear my masks. And it just frustrates me that, like, everybody is so bound and determined that they're going to do what they want to do, that it doesn't matter what other people need. Like, if you are so unwell that you can't wear a mask, you probably shouldn't be going out in public during a pandemic. Just saying. Like... There are options, there are ways to get groceries without um, contact, there are ways to get, and these are services that like, you know, yes, there may be a fees, fees attached to them, but it's not to all of them. If you don't have the services available, you could ask friends to like, you know, do a grocery run for you and leave them on the porch. Or you could ask your local church for help saying, I can't get groceries. Can somebody shop for me when they do theirs? Like, first of all, we can't help each other if we don't know that other people need help. But second of all, stop putting other people in danger. People have to go out and do things, but there are ways to mitigate the spreading of this thing. And it is just, it's frustrating for people who have been not seeing their families, for people who have been doing what we're told to by the CDC this whole time, and we're still doing it. And then other people are just callous about it. And doing what they want to do as opposed to I'm not talking about legitimate medical issues I'm talking about I don't want to because I don't want to. I'm not going to wear it because I don't want to that kind of thing you can't make me put it over my nose just to basically thumb your nose at the rule you know just that's just shh, just put it on and shh, shh. just put it on and shh. you've got like you know 20 minutes an hour that you got to wear the stupid thing and then you can get back in your car and take it off just shh, shh. That's not true. I've seen my dad more than once. I've seen him twice. I saw him twice, a couple times this summer, but like I saw him when he dropped off Christmas presents for us and we talked for 20 minutes outside, masked up, far away because that's what we needed to do. And it sucked, but it was nice to see him. And it sucked, but we did it anyway. I 
Anyway. I'm very frustrated about masks and being stuck home. Because, because, because we will follow the rules. That's the thing. Like, we're home because we will follow the rules. Like, we're supposed to. But we're also home because other people don't follow the rules. I don't know that. They could have not known that their kid had it. And I get that, too. It's all tricky. It's all difficult to navigate. It's all... None of it's simple. None of it's just straightforward, like, answer multiple choice tests and be done. It's like... I don't know. It's like the rest of adulthood, I guess. Just struggling to figure out the best thing to do in any given situation. And doing the best you can, I guess. Everybody's doing the best they can. Not everybody. Some people are being mean, and rude, and jerks. But people, some people are doing the best they can. I have glue on my fingernail. Glue on my fingernail. Okay. And now, I'm going to put two more on and then I'll be done. Which is good because I got three minutes. Good. I'm going to cut these ones shorter because I've got some smaller things that I would like to put in here. Before two minutes is up. Oh, um, if you enjoyed what you saw today, please like, subscribe, share. I really appreciate your support. Um, I know it's been rocky, and I know there have been times where I just have not uh, have not produced. But I appreciate you hanging in there with me. And if there's anything you want want to see on my videos anything you want to see me do let me know in the comments um you can also check out my facebook group it is wicked crafty mom and i am on instagram as wicked crafty underscore mom i'm going to put a belly band right here right now and then we will call it a day let's get this thing on here two minutes i got two minutes race against the clock race against the clock okay inked it inked it totally nailed it all right all right let's put a belly band right here one two buckle my shoe okay i'm definitely going to attach this in better um sewing wise i'm gonna pull these strings and figure it out. Maybe untie them. See if I can pull it tighter again. Something like that. Okay. I know it's not stuck. I'm going to figure that out. All right. One quick flip through. Here we go. It's probably a little over an hour now. I apologize. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.